send in five that you've purchased from, uh, from the vintage line, and we'll send you uh, your book of death. He'll be on a vintage card in a white mailer box. He will fire a longer rocket for toy safety rules. You can't do the shorter one as a launcher. But you can take that out, and you can put in the uh, dummy rocket to make him look uh, just like the vintage book of death figure. There'll be a few little differences um, because of modern manufacturing techniques. We couldn't actually replicate <coughs> dead in us. This is amazing. Uh, all the promotional stickers we peel off will be on the vintage card. If you peel them off, you just want to you know, see the character and all that's good. Um, and uh, we couldn't be more excited than to, you know, what a great way to celebrate the return of the vintage. And so that's how it'll look like when it comes to that. Uh, battle packs will continue for Legacy. We've got a couple of great ones coming out now. Desert Ambush, Birth of Darth Vader. And then we've got a hot deck coming out in August. So we've got some Darth Vader, new deck ones, and true builders. True builders and, of course, Starfighter vehicles are the mainstay of uh, the yeah, So we've got some excitement here. We are coming out with a brand new tooled uh, snow speeder. And this one is actually going to be accurately scaled. It's shrunk down from the previous version. It has, uh, yeah, woo, has two projectile launchers at the front. The big uh, cannons are actually uh, projectiles. And fits the two figures. And then on the back, you can, it's very movie authentic, but you can actually uh, hook on your tow cable launcher. And then, everybody's favorite welcoming committee from Empire Strikes Back, the Cloud Car. Um, now, this is a yeah, welcoming committee, not super aggressive, but you know, Hasbro, we don't play all the action. So we'll fit two figures, um, and we've added some more uh, play to this, to this uh, vehicle. It actually will split apart, and then you see two projectile launchers there on the front, and on the side of the cars, on the outer side of the pod, it will pop out as an additional two projectile launchers. Break them apart and swarm attack. And that's because we, you know, we told the design team, we'll never, ever, ever release a cloud car because it's not an aggressive vehicle. So the team, like, hid amazing yeah. amounts of weaponry and cool features in there. We said, okay, now's the time. Cloud car. All right, so cloud car. All right, yeah. so that's it. <laughs>
stuff. These are the ones coming out through spring. We'll have Django, the slave one, and then we'll have Anakin's version of the F3 Jedi Starfighter. And that will, they will run through spring, and that'll make room for... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Baby oh. Brothers version yeah. of the Attic. So <laughs> big kids gonna get theirs. Oh, Dad, right. baby, will get theirs. And then those <laughs> the thing is, the horrible one is that electronics and then it's got a posable head, so it can do the cool so. It's just really cool, and it pops open so you can play inside. It has a speed of like well. So cute. Okay. So um, then we want to talk about it. We'll go quickly through some of our other expressions uh, that we have because it's not all about just the three to four. And one thing that Vicky has been very cool. <laughs> um, really, you know, we're trying to hit Star Wars kids of every age and get a great play for everyone. So these are uh, our force battlers, and they're really targeted to a younger Star Wars fan. So they're about 10 inches tall, so they're really easy to activate features, and they get across the character the, of the get across the character with a lot of electronics and stuff. So you can see Anakin actually has an extendable lightsaber, and whether that's out or in, he'll get different phrases for battle mode. Uh, Captain Rex he has a communicator on his arm, so he can talk to Anakin, and he has an amazing recoiling gun, clone blaster. And Grieve is not to be outdone; he can take a both on at once. He's got flywheel on the back. It has double action spinning lightsabers. So it's an amazing way for young kids to get their first deluxe. Great dramatic play, but easy to activate. Um, in role play, uh, many of you may or may not realize that usually a kid's first purchase in Star Wars is a lightsaber. Okay, it's the most successful role play weapon of all time. And we have an amazing lineup this year. So following our successful helmet program, we have the Boba Fett electronic helmet. It, it, it's awesome. So you immerse yourself in the Bounty Hunter. So it's all about right now the Mandalorian and Boba Fett and Bounty Hunter. Um, and then you'll have, finally, in our, in our 1999 blaster sword, with Boba Fett's blaster as well. But the big new news is this guy right here actually won role play toy of the year two weeks ago in the United Kingdom. So we showed this at Toy Fair in the UK. The, the media, everybody went nuts. So this is going to be our big focus because it will totally re-engage kids in, uh, in that Finicky, but yeah, it's real finicky. That's just awesome. But the idea is not only can you, can you finally fight like Grievous, but you can fight, uh, you can take them apart by two other lightsabers or combine them for a traditional gun. It's an awesome, awesome option. So, Transformers crossovers will continue with a mix of refresh and new vehicles, including uh, the <laughs> Yoda, uh, Yoda attack shuttle. So, uh, can't wait to see him on show. Uh, so. Uh, and then we'll, we'll give you a quick taste of exclusives. We're, we're actually going to refine our exclusives program this year. We won't have as many as we did last year. Be very focused. Um, but a couple of them to look for coming out very soon are the staff with Battle Droid, and then we've got a uh, great version of the speeder bike. Um, and that should, actually, I think they're going to be in store soon today. Um, but the, really, the cool ones that everyone's been waiting for are the Force Unleashed Collector Packs. This was a wave of mainline figures that we had planned that we knew because the timing wasn't going to get out. We put them together, brought them to Toys R Us to continue their video game exclusives, and they are absolutely amazing. The Battlefront packs we brought to Toys R Us have been huge home runs for them, and they uh, they asked for more, so we delivered. Each one will have a Galen Merrick or Starkiller Hero new version, as well as key troop builders. Um, so including, we've got the precursor to the level troopers. We've got Proxy, um, a new version of 